Welcome, welcome, my ladies. Welcome back to what I've been calling the Tracy's Total Wellness Master Class. And I have my awesome mind master with me, Elijah. So welcome, Elijah. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me, Tracy. Awesome. So I call you my wonderful friend and colleague, the mind master, because I think you're extremely powerful when it comes to mindset. And you're very, very in attune with women and their mindset. So I wanted to introduce my tribe to you a little bit more on a deeper level so that when we start working in the program and they get that awesome gift of yours, they're going to get to know you a little bit more. So Elijah works with women who suffer from the burden of body and beauty image craziness. Mm -hmm. These women almost always have food issues and Elijah knows because she has been there herself. Yep. Elijah wants all women to know that their value is not in how much they weigh or how they look. Being a courageous, beautiful badass has zero to do with weight or good hair, and yet most women buy into the paradigm of valuing without even realizing that's what they're doing. Elijah believes we are at a time, and I believe this too, where women are being called to bring their full strength and awesomeness to the table of humanity and be change makers in the world. We need you. I am in so agreement of that. <laughs> so this is Elijah. I love, I love you, love you, love you. I love all the work you do and the mission, the mission you have for women. It's powerful. So what I would love to ask you then is since you are – that pillar of mindset reset for my program is why is it so important for us to shift and reset our mindset? Oh, well, I firmly believe that our mindset, which you can define, one of the ways we can define it is how we view ourselves in the world, uh, absolutely can change our life. So it's, it's really, 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 sim I'll oversimplify it. If we have a negative outlook and perception and mindset, it's like you have blinders on and you can only see the negative stuff. Everything that you think will be validated. If you have a, a more positive mindset, a more open mindset, then you will, it's the same thing. You will see things that validate that. It's really, really interesting. Our mind is so powerful. So mindset changes everything. Yes, I'm in full agreement with that. Yeah. The other question that I wanted to ask you then is, because this is a stress reset program, how can you see the correlation between stress and mindset? And have you noticed stress causing the mindset to shift into the negative and maybe vice versa, having a negative mindset causing more stress? But what have you seen in your life and then also in clients' life and uh, the relationship between stress and mindset. So it's such a good question, Tracy. I feel like we could talk for a long, long, yes. long time about that. So it has everything to do with it. And gosh, okay. So to get back to my simple explanation, because I think that might be the best way to work with. If, we're, if we have a negative mindset, or let's say you wake up and you get out of bed and you instantly stub your toe and you're like, First thing, I stub my toe. So then all of a sudden, you're like, as soon as you think this day sucks, you're releasing stress hormones. You're releasing that kind of a toxic little cocktail into your body. So that's going to predispose you again to seeing the negative. And then you're not going to see what's positive. You're just not. You're going to see everything that goes wrong. And then the stress is going to increase and the stress is going to increase. Um, and I know you're going to talk about like what happens hormonally when we get into a stressed place, you know, it's not good. I mean, we, we can't digest our food properly. We hold on to weight. We are, um, damaging our cells and our bodies and predisposing ourselves to getting sick and so many, so many things. So, uh, there's such a direct link. And when we stop, and I just want to acknowledge, I want to acknowledge that I'm making this sound simple and that sometimes it's really challenging. It is actually simple, but it doesn't mean it's easy. And yes, yes. 
that's a really important distinction. So, but when, when we are able to, like we stub our toe, and we, it sucks and we yell and we scream and then we stop and we take a deep breath, maybe several deep breaths and we make a choice to thank our body for how amazing it is. That might be one example. Thank you for, I can walk, I can um, talk, I breathe without really having to think about it. I get through my day, I digest my food. I mean, you can really, really rev up a massive gratitude for all the amazing things our body does. So that's just one example. Or you can, really, I mean, this is something I am grateful for every day when I go to take a shower. Thank you for running water. Thank you for indoor plumbing. And that might sound silly, but I mean, there's so many people in the world that don't have that. And um, I just think it makes me so happy and I feel so lucky as soon as I start thinking those things. And then I'm in my parasympathetic nervous system. I'm relaxed and much more open. I'm able to respond versus react. So <clears throat> mindset, uh, I mean, our mindset directly plays into whether we're stressed or not, for sure. And we always have a choice. And again, it's not always easy, but we do always have a choice. Yeah, I love that that's what you said. I was going to actually say that to you is parasympathetic is we're in that restful place. Sympathetic is that fight or flight. So it's called fight or flight, which leads me to believe I already know this, but it could lead other people to believe that don't understand it as much that we're going to think things that are fighting or running away from. And so it's going to manifest the thoughts that are fight or flight thoughts. Yeah. It puts us on defense. It, and then it's holding the belief that something is going to happen. It, we're always then believing something bad is awaiting us when we open the door. We're literally programmed for that. Mm -hmm. It's survival. It's the primal part of us. And yeah. it doesn't, like it, the evolution of the human species hasn't quite caught up to the reality of how our world is today yet. So it's just yeah. this primal, primal response. I agree. And so I think you have an amazing approach when it comes to the stress that women could be putting on themselves with their own mindset about their value and about what beauty is. So I would love for you to just share a little sneak peek into the gift that you're going to be offering the women that come on to join the Stress Reset Program. Thank you. Okay. So the first thing though I want to say for sure is that we as women and if you're not one of these women, I'm so, so happy for you, but the vast majority of women hate on their bodies every single day. And it and the spectrum of hate can be anything from like, ugh, I wish I could lose weight to like, I'm disgusting. And it's really, I think of it as violence against ourselves. So the amount of stress that's caused really just by looking in the mirror, and I don't think women are quite fully aware of it um, to the whole extent that that affects our lives. So I uh, wanted, I wrote a, uh, ebook or an e-guide it's not quite a book because it's like 20 pages long or something um five mindset shifts to help you start loving your body and that's my gift so i think it's really important because it does start with the mind <clears throat> what we are up against as women in this culture uh is that literally from the day we were born um <laughs> whether we were aware of it or not, images and um, cultural suggestions, beliefs that we're not good enough, that we need to spend money in order to make ourselves better, that we're never quite good enough. Um, it's just, and we really actually take it for granted. So, whew. Is that answering your question? It does, yes, it does. It's, it's one of those things where I like to say it's, it, it's hard to explain it because you have to have the experience of it. Right. And these mindset shifts are an experience to, to have. Yeah. And so uh, that's actually to get me back on track, actually, thank you, is that because we're like living in the soup and we're not even aware of it, we, you know, really need to um, create those mind shifts ourselves. Nobody's going to do it for us. And the first thing in terms of like starting to love our bodies, which is my focus, but trust me, these mindset shifts are going to help your life regardless. So um, but is that we have to start understanding what the messages are that we're getting, who's giving us those messages, why they're detrimental. And so it all starts with the mind. 
Yes, it's, it's powerful. The e-guide is amazing. I can't wait for, for you ladies to, I love it. to dive into it. And the one thing I want to say before we close, Elijah, is I want to just express my gratitude, right? We're practicing the attitude of gratitude to shift our mindset for you. And especially for the challenges that you went through in your own life to get here to share this message. Thank you. I want to honor you for all that you've gone through and honor the courage that you've had to make your choices to then share this message because all these women really need it. And I really just wanted to offer my gratitude for you being with me in this program, being a friend, being a colleague, and being what you said, a badass mm -hmm. to uh, help women to love their lives more. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you, Tracy. I am so, so grateful to you. And I'm grateful for women everywhere. I'm, as you I think heard me say I'm obsessed with women. I love women. I think we're amazing. And uh, I want us to all feel really good in our bodies and go out there and change the world. So Yeah. Well, together we can. So I, I'm look, looking forward to you just getting to experience Elijah on a deeper level. Again, as I have mentioned, these gifts from all of my masters in my program will be periodically giving to you throughout the program so you can really get the best out of each and every one of these amazing women. If you haven't yet joined us in the program, please feel free to join. You're not going to want to miss anything here, and especially with Elijah and her masterful mindset shifts for an epic 2018. So I look forward to, to working with you, Elijah, to being with you more, to how great 2018 is going to be for you, for me, and for all these amazing women. And thank you for spending your time with me today. Tracy, thank you for the work you do. You as well. Thank you. All right. Be well, my love. Be well.